everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video today. I have wanted to start this channel for so long. Now I'm gonna be entering my first year teaching and I just really wanted to have like a hobby for myself, something I could do that was for me, that was fun. And so that's what this channel is going to be. But today I wanted to test out some Pinterest recipes because I love Pinterest. Simply put, I love Pinterest. So I found four 4th of July recipes that looked kind of easy. I didn't want to do anything too hard, but we're gonna try them out. We're gonna try out these four recipes. So I think we're just gonna go like easiest to hardest because that sounds good to me. Okay, this first recipe is one that I am super excited to try. I changed that a little bit though. I first found this recipe I thought, oh, those are so cute, they'll be so easy, and I know they're gonna taste good, and they're something that you could throw together really quick. But very quickly, I learned the ingredients are really hard to find. I went to the grocery store, I could find the pretzels. So easy, right? They're just where pretzels go. But I knew my local grocery store was not gonna sell the white candy melts that they use. Um, that just was not a thing. And I didn't wanna have to run to a store like Michael's because if this was something like a 4th of July barbecue, just last minute, I knew I wasn't going to want to run to multiple stores. So, I just stuck with what I could find. So, I'm going to use um, Hershey's Hugs instead. And then, I could not find red, white, and blue M&Ms anywhere. So, I decided to get normal M&Ms, and I'm just going to pick out the red and the blue ones. But, they're going to taste the exact same, they might even taste better because of the hugs. So. We're just going to jump into it. I know how to make these, so I'm going to actually <laughs> alter the recipe a little bit. It says to put them in the microwave for the candy melts to get a little bit soft, but I just feel like that's a lot. What I'm going to do instead is what I do at Christmas time. I just have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I just want to use my pretzels, put them down, unwrap the hugs, put them on top, and I'm going to stick them in just like a warm oven for literally like 30 seconds, and they'll get soft where I can push the M&Ms into them, and I can do it in one transaction. I don't have to like constantly be changing through the microwave. So we're gonna go ahead and just start that process. minutes to unwrap all of them on here. I decided not to do all of them because I do not think I'm gonna have enough M&Ms to even do what's on here, at least with the red and blue ones. I know I won't. We're fine. And I'm honestly just gonna like, oh shoot, that one was a red one. <laughs> Okay, I took them out of the oven and they were really melty. So I've been letting them sit for just a few minutes to like see if that helps because I mean, they were real melty. Oh yeah, okay, they're definitely more melted though. So I'm gonna stick just one on all of them because I honestly think that's gonna end up being cuter than a ton of them. Oh no. That one did not work. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna stick one. I think that's gonna work better. Okay, so I have my Hershey's Hugs Pretzel Bite M&M Treat things ready. So we're just gonna try it, see if it's good. They're so good. I definitely would give these a thumbs up. I think they're so worth the work, especially if like you had the M&Ms that you didn't have to sort and stuff like that. These would be so fun to like snack on like before dinner on the 4th of July. 
so fun and they're so cute. Totally worth it. Okay, you guys. Time for the next recipe. This one I'm really excited about because I've seen it everywhere and I've seen videos of this working. Um, this was a kid's patriotic drink. Um, but the key in the recipe was that you needed a red, white, and blue drink with all different sugar amounts. I have a red Powerade, a white Sobe, and pina colada, I don't know, and then a blue Jones soda. So to start, you just find the soda with the highest sugar. So this is my highest, middle, lowest per gram. From like that side the back's all purple but it looks cool from the front so i'm gonna try it i don't know she looks interesting so it smells really good like do you know what it smells like it's fun dip a little bit like fun dip sugar but it tastes like a blue raspberry i see I don't think it's worth it. Okay, this recipe I am very ready to try because I have seen these cookies everywhere. So, we're just gonna start. First step is just to make your dough. So I'm just gonna make these cookies and then see what it says to do next. standard um, sugar cookie dough so you honestly could probably use whatever sugar cookie dough recipe is your favorite um, so now it says to divide it into three sections and then just start coloring them and putting them in the fridge for 30 minutes to cool which I don't normally do but I want to give this recipe a fair chance and I'm worried that if I don't that the layers aren't going to be separated like how they're supposed to be Paper, roll it to one eighth of an inch, stack them on top of each other, roll it into a log, stick it in the fridge for an hour. I'm gonna repeat the process now with this side. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm just gonna cut them into pinwheels. It is time to eat them. I have the last dozen in the oven, so I'm gonna just taste one. I'm gonna just pick one up. Okay, 
So some of them turned out super cute and some of them look like a nine. <laughs> they needed to be in a little bit of a tighter roll, I think. I don't really know. But for the most part, they turned out really cute. I definitely think for the first time making these, I would definitely make them again effort-wise. But depends, it really tastes good. They're pretty good. Here's my issue with them. And <laughs> this is gonna be like totally nitpicky. They taste just like a sugar cookie, but I feel like most sugar cookies you like to put icing on or frosting. So they taste a little bit boring just by themselves like this. So I almost think it would be worth making some like icing to put on them. But the cookie itself is a good sugar cookie. It just needs a little bit something that's a little bit boring. Okay, so this one is firecracker cakes. And this is like the first one that I found and I thought, oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun. But it also looked like something that I would try that was not like what you thought it was gonna be. Okay, so the first step is just to cook my white box of cake mix. And I'm just gonna follow exactly what it says. So I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm just gonna mix everything up in this bowl. So I'm just going to open up the bowl. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the bowl because that's how you make a cake. like she does I want some but I don't have them so I'm gonna use this water bottle from college to see if I can get it to come out I'm a little bit nervous that I'm just gonna get a big chunk of cake stuck in here but you can wash it it will be fine so we're gonna just try that oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what though that actually kind of works and it's kind of cute. I think I'm just gonna keep using this. So now it's time to decorate. I'm gonna go ahead and put blue on the bottom because it's the most sturdy. <laughs> black licorice on the top of their cakes and I thought that kind of delicious I love black licorice I could not find black licorice ropes like she used anywhere I didn't want to go to another store so I bought sour punch rainbow straws which I actually oh no okay I have my plate of three little firecrackers <laughs> I can hear Pop Rocks popping, so I feel like that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna just like taste one. I don't know how you'd go about eating this. 
The cake definitely doles out the <laughs> Pop Rocks element. It was not that poppy, but it was really cool. I mean, it would be really cool if you like had no idea they were in there and you served it at a party and somebody took a bite in it and they were there. Would be so cool. But the stacking of the firecrackers and having them stand up is so not worth the effort. If I were to make these again, I would just make like cupcakes that had layered batter that you didn't have to like piece together and then put pop rocks in the middle of that. You'd get the same element. They'd look extremely similar and they would not be tipping over. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what other kind of Pinterest videos you want to see. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.